governor's office on a recent spike in COVID cases. The jump comes as the Broncos are preparing to host the largest gathering Colorado has seen since the pandemic began in March. The state health department says there has been a sharp increase in cases among younger people, mainly college students. Now, the spike since Labor Day is the worst we have seen since the 4th of July. On September 7th, 187 new cases were reported in Colorado. You know, you can see the upward trend up to today when the state reported 654 new cases. Governor Polis calls this a critical time and says all of us have to work together to bring down those numbers. This is a warning sign for all of us that, again, while generally what we're doing is, is, is working, we, we need to do it a little bit better. Uh, we need to be a little better with the mask wearing, avoiding large groups, being smart, being careful, right? Not, not being fearful, not being anxious, just being cautious, smart, careful. Well, there one will be one big group, despite today's warning. The governor had already signed off on that large gathering coming up on Sunday. That's when 5,700 fans will be allowed into the Broncos game, and the team hopes to eventually allow 17,000 fans. Yeah. Connor McHugh took a tour of the stadium today. Connor, a lot of changes being made to keep people as safe as possible. Yeah, Jim, and the Broncos say that safe experience starts outside the stadium. Obviously, there will be no tailgating, but then each fan on their ticket will have an assigned gate. That will tell them exactly when and where they need to go in. At each one, there will be social distancing requirements as well as mask requirements. And when you get to that gate at security, it will be touchless and there will be plenty of hand sanitizer. And that is just the beginning of what they'll be doing Sunday. When you arrive at the stadium, it's been repeated. Things will look a lot different. At Sunday's game against Tampa, Broncos fans will get a taste of the new normal. There's hand sanitizer stations as soon as you get into the gate. To get in, you'll need an electronic ticket and a mask. It will be checked. It will be enforced. From there, the 5,700 fans will be split up into pods of one to six family members or close friends. Those white stickers are where people will be sitting. That pod, the last person in the seating row, has to be at least six feet away from the start of the next pod. Each pod will have their own touchless concessions and restrooms, and around each concourse, there will be countless reminders to social distance. But we will have room teams in the concourses that will make sure that we don't have large gatherings. Still, like anywhere else, COVID-19 spread is possible, but so is contact tracing. If we did have an area that we needed to contact somebody, we could get that information to the local health department. Sunday won't be a mile high sellout, but for now, it's what's allowed. More than ever before, safety and success will be a team effort. The better we do together as a team, the more that people follow the rules, the quicker we're going to be able to get to the 17,000 that you're asking about. Now, the fans on Sunday will be mostly season ticket holders, but Friday at 10 a.m., a few limited, about 150 half price tickets will go on sale. Now, it's also important to note that the Broncos are asking all fans to take their temperature before they show up at the stadium and to stay home if they are not feeling well. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. All right, Connor.